Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, a professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. And please go to my website there and sign up to be on my newsletter email list. And every month I choose three people who will win a 20-minute astrology session with me. And I do that every single month. So within the first week of the next month, the following month, I will email you separately the winners, okay? So that out of the way, find me on Facebook, Dorothy Morgan Astrologer. Today I want to talk about the new moon solar eclipse that is coming up on March 8th. And that is Eastern Standard Time. It is at 8.54 p.m., all right? That's plus 5 GMT if you're keeping track. This new moon solar eclipse is also a super moon. And physically where this eclipse is, is starts in Indonesia in that area and goes through the Pacific Ocean. So we won't like, most likely won't see it here. I know we won't see it here unless you're watching it on TV or the computer. What does that mean? You know, it has this physical component, which is kind of cool in my eyes. You know, the new moon is at 18 degrees of uh, Pisces. And with it physically, this eclipse being over the ocean, Pisces represents the water and the oceans. So in a very big way, a global sense, what this eclipse represents is our focus in on the oceans and water on this planet and the problems with that. All right, so we have a big issue that will be coming up. We already have it coming up already, but something else will show its face. And when we have eclipses, they are always unexpected components that can happen with eclipses but when we have them but I will tell you at least what we do know about this new moon in Pisces and again when we have new moon eclipses all new moons are about planting new seeds and changing things to expand and to grow so this is what we're going to do with this Pisces new moon Pisces represents love and compassion and understanding and forgiveness and this Pisces new moon eclipse is in the same location as the south node, which is easy, things that should be easy for us. It's also in the same place as Chiron, all within a few degrees. Chiron's that wounded healer. So what this new moon is telling me in um, a very, it's not even in a vague sense, it's very specific, is that we need to find love and compassion and understanding and forgiveness for ourselves. This is where it needs to start. It needs to start within our own bodies, within our own hearts and minds. Pisces is, the, you know, the zodiac sign that is all about spirituality. It's about, you know, knowing no boundaries. So let's use this energy in a very positive way. So where in your life are you going to um, step it up and do something new for yourself? Where are you going to have that, uh, that sense of understanding for yourself? And then, it, 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 of course, it spreads into the world around you. But that sense of understanding for yourself and compassion for yourself and forgiveness for yourself. Once we do these things for ourselves, and it's easy to help to do it for others. So many of us carry heavy baggage of fear and guilt and all these issues that we've, we don't seem to want to let go of. Now... I want to address as well the opposite side of the eclipse here. I mean, the eclipse is a new moon, so everything's in the same place. And in a minute, I'm going to get to what it is for each zodiac sign. So you're watching the one that has your zodiac sign in the title right now, but this intro is going to be on every video. But the opposite place of where this eclipse is is the North Node and Jupiter. And there where we had an eclipse in September, September 13th. So this eclipse point, this, this axis of where eclipses were here and here over the last six months is really incredibly important. And that Virgo axis is, are you focusing too much on details? Or are you not doing enough for yourself in your daily routine that is giving you enough of a break so you can feel like you're actually existing and you know, living a life that you want to live? So basically, let me just tie this up and then we'll get to each of the zodiac signs, which means what house it will be in for you and what else, in what additional information for each zodiac sign. So to wrap this up, Pisces wants us to find that love and compassion and forgiveness within ourselves so we can spread that to others, all right? Letting go and releasing certain details that we've been hanging on to, especially since September, but probably for a lifetime, 
letting go and allowing these things that have been just picking at us for a very long time. We need to find a way to release this. So using spiritual components, Pisces, in our everyday routine, the Virgo opposite energy of this eclipse, in our daily routine is something that is super important for all of us to do. All right, Saturn is at a square angle to all of these points I just mentioned, and what that represents is that Saturn in, uh, in Sagittarius, it's like a breaking down of my old beliefs. It can be very philosophical. So we have this whole structure and this whole setup right now with this eclipse of moving through old beliefs, old ways of doing things, so we can step into the, a, a, new, a, vib a new vibration and a new energy for ourselves and how we want to feel, and how we want to love ourselves, have that compassion for others, and that forgiveness, which is very, very important. Because if we don't want to do that, we can just become a martyr and feel very insecure. And that's not, that's not the best way to, to live in these bodies and to express what the soul wants to express. So try setting some new goals in, in that department of love, compassion, forgiveness, harmony. All right, what comes next is a little bit for each of the zodiac signs. So you won't even know I'm gone. All right, Scorpio, this eclipse is in your solar fifth house, and what that represents is the energy of, of passion and what you're passionate about and how you're creative. Now, since Pisces is in that sector for you, um, it, the beautiful things that you can do with this energy is to really, you know, sit down and, and channel information through. So you're, you just feel really very, very connected to your higher self and to spirituality. Now, if that stuff just sounds like a bunch of hooey, you're probably not watching this anyways, but if it sounds too hooey for you, then just sit down and see how you can be creative. Pick up a coloring book and color. Pick up a pen and draw. Or pick up something and write. Do something creative because you should be very, very inspired with an eclipse going on in this sector of your astrology chart. All right? Give that a try. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you got that okay. And if you didn't, you're more than welcome to email me and connect with me. Uh, if you have questions, the icon will be up in the corner, so you can always click there and get right to my website, or the live links right below the video are there as well. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love it, and that way you'll know when the next batch of videos come up, because they'll be in another week or so after this one. And because we have two eclipses this month, and you want to catch up on that full moon eclipse when that happens too. If you're a member, a subscriber, you will be notified. So thank you so much for watching, and um, I guess I'll leave you with that. Thank you. Be authentic. Always be yourself.